was. Alan Titchmarsh has written a supplement in the Sunday Express this week. My Guide to the Queen's Homes. Oh, is he allowed to do that? I expect he waits until the Queen has gone out. Okay. Besides, I think it's a sort of ice bucket challenge style thing. You remember last week when Kylie Minogue did My Guide to Alan Titchmarsh's Homes? Oh yes, and the week before that it was My Guide to Kylie Minogue's Homes by... Banky Murky. Yeah. 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 And now Titchmarsh has tagged the Queen, so she'll have to do one next. Oh. Well, the Sunday Telegraph are not happy today. Look at okay. this. Tory crisis. Minister quits. MP defects. But on the plus side, legs. Ah, and whose legs are those? Uh, the new Mrs Clooney. And does she have a name? I just told you. Mrs Clooney. But she must have a name of her own. Oh, well, um, I think she's in some of the other papers. Here we go. In the Sunday Times, the headline is, By George, She's Got Him. Ah, she's got him, has she? Yeah, I think it was a while when it wasn't really clear whether she would get him, but now, using guile and cunning, she has got him. Right. But there's still no clue as to who she is. No, I think she's just some international human rights lawyer. No one important. Right. <laughs> By George, though. That's clever. Yeah, it's a clever pun, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's exactly as clever as it was in the sun uh -huh. and in the mail. Ah. I, what I like about it is that it would also work if Mr and Mrs Clooney had called their son Eck. Or Criminy. Yeah. Or the power of Greyskull. Uh, which I think was what they were going to call him if he'd been a girl. So, what was the wedding like? Ah, no one knows. Really? No. Oh. It was a secret wedding. <gasps> was it? Yes, look, it says so in the Sunday Telegraph. George Clooney has married his fiancée, Amal Alamuddin, in a secret ceremony in Venice. Oh. And uh, what are all these pictures of? Oh, shh. It's secret. This is strictly between you, me, Mr and Mrs Clooney, the guests, the readers of the Sunday Telegraph, the readers of the other newspapers... And the internet. Right, so mum's the word then. Absolutely. Okay. The guests were seen taking gondolas to the event with Clooney dressed in a tuxedo, waving to crowds. Secretly. A secret wave, yes. Just assume that everything I say is veiled under a cloud of secrecy. Okay. And uh, where did all this take place in Venice? Uh, the Grand Canal, I think. Ah, perfect. A last place anyone would look. Yes, here we go. On the front page of the Sunday Times, Tony Allen Mills writes... Yesterday, the Grand Canal, that watery ducal boulevard... I'm sorry, that what? That watery ducal boulevard... Watery? Yep. So the Times of London on their front page is describing the Grand Canal of Venice as watery. What's your point? Are you trying to argue that it isn't watery? Well, no. But I think probably all the words that you could use to describe a canal, watery is rather a good one. How about boulevard? OK, I can see that that is a slightly more eccentric choice, but still you know what it means. Boulevard as in... The Panama Watery Boulevard. The Manchester Ship Watery Boulevard. Oh, OK, fair enough. But the wedding, are you sure there's no more details? Look, no, there really isn't. I keep telling you it's a secret. Look, in, in the Observer it says, The details were shrouded in secrecy, and all involved subject to a strict confidentiality agreement. But local reports suggested that the select group of 130 guests would be serenaded into the night by a string orchestra and jazz trio, with the US singer Lana Del Rey reportedly scheduled to perform Nat King Cole's When I Fall in Love. A five-course dinner would be served in the main library after guests had finished their champagne and canapes in the garden. But further details were scarce. Why must the details be so scarce? Curse this wall of silence! The only other thing we know is uh -huh. from the Sunday Telegraph, that on Friday evening there were drinks and a piano man around the pool. Hmm. A piano man? Yep. Yeah. Do you mean a pianist? Nope, a piano man. Very different. Huh. And he was around the pool? Yes, I think he was probably enormous. Or possibly spectacularly dead. Yes, well, after all, what little girl hasn't dreamt of a fairy tale wedding in Venice, complete with the dismembered corpse of a piano man arranged artistically around the pool. Or as it should be called, the watery ducal cul-de-sac. Of course. Hello? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I've not hoovered, but, um, yeah, okay, pop on over. Kettle on, John. Queen's coming. <laughs> 